All right, guys, so I just wanted to preface this video by saying that I will not be covering the Infernal Kudra because I haven't unlocked it, and the metas there are so crazy compared to, like, normal Kudra that it's probably best if you just play the game and join Kudra Gang to try and figure it out. Also, the I'm in a race with the official Hypixel YouTube channel to reach 30,000 subscribers. Hypixel himself told me that if I hit 30k subs, he'll get me YouTube rank, so if you could do that and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it, but let's get into the video. Okay, so for the first Kudra tiers, the first two, they're pretty similar. One is just slightly more difficult than the other. Imagine like Master Mode and Normal Floors. So we have Storm Armor, a Hyperion, a Sheep Pet, Amber Armor, and any type of Lava Rod. Okay, so realistically you don't need all of this stuff. Like, you could get away with just wearing like Shadow Assassin and everything, but it's a lot better if you have this armor. Later in the tiers, you're going to need it if you're doing specific jobs, so just remember that. Okay, so the second you get in, you want to jump to one of these corners, and you want to equip your Ember Armor and start fishing in here. Now, you don't need the Ember Armor, so I'm going to be showing you how to do it without it, but all Ember Armor does is stop the lava from dealing a third of your damage every time you fall into it. So, you want to stand here, and you want to try and fish this up as soon as the boss spawns. Like, as soon as it comes in, you want to try and get it before the tentacles have come up, and this is called preying. Obviously, as you can see here, I got a really bad spawn, so it's impossible for me to do it. And what this means is you just need to put your Ember Armor on or do it more difficulty, d difficultly without the Ember Armor. You want to just lead it over to an area where the Kudra can't reach you, um, like this, or over to one of the cannons, and I'll show you how to do cannoning a little bit later. All right, never mind. Apparently, I'm doing cannoning right now because I actually messed this up. So um, there's no clearers in the first floors because you don't have stunners. This means you're going to have to just like kill them yourself, and it's a lot. this is the part where I'm like, you need a Hyperion because... Otherwise, you're just going to get harassed by mobs the whole time. So what you want to do, come over here and click on it with an ability or anything. And then hit the uh, cannon and just keep spamming right click so you stay onto the cannon. Then once you get it, you can equip it and you won't get hit away by the tentacles. And then you walk over here and put the supplies down and kill the mobs. And the server lags because it's high pixel. Now, once you've got all the stuff down, you want to come over here and shift click and left click here. Another spot where a Hyperion is very useful, otherwise, as this guy who doesn't have a hype, he just gets absolutely like done by mobs unless I'm here to clear them for him. So, just keep going around here and keep punching them. The tentacles will destroy it, mobs will kill it, so you need to be like taking care of all of this. And once that's finished, then, uh, so once it's finished, these like chunks will spawn out of Kudra, he'll keep throwing them, and you want to keep just hitting them into him. Um, I'd recommend just using a bow, like a short bow. I think you might be able to melee them, but you can hit them from a distance here, it's a lot easier. You need to keep doing this consistently because it'll keep Kudra from disappearing, and it'll also damage him, so... This is actually a lot longer than the later floors, because you can kind of cheese it, but... Using these chunks, you just keep hitting it into them, and eventually he will die. Now, if you want to know what is good profit from the chests, then I'd recommend you go to the Kudra Gang Discord server, link in the description. It'll have a command where you do slash AP, and you can see the prices of any attributes. So, a lot of people want to go a lot faster, so if you're getting just into it, I would recommend taking either every chest that's not like a helmet, or not a fervor piece. So, it's usually an okay deal for money, but... I just recommend going into the Discord server and trying to learn all the prices. Okay, so for these tiers, what you want is the stuff you had from the previous runs, and if you're playing as a DPS, you want Terra Armor, plus a Precursor Eye Helmet, a Golden Dragon or an Ender Dragon Pet, and a Terminator Bow. Now, I know this is very expensive, but if you're playing Stunner, it's a lot cheaper because you don't need any of that stuff, so hang around and I'll get to that in a second. Yeah, so until you get up to the stage where you're building it, everything's basically the same. Um, crates take a little bit longer to get, and mobs have more health and all that, but otherwise it's pretty simple. Now what you want to do is equip your Terra Armor, get your hype, uh, um, Terminator out, and get some Toxic Arrow Poison. Now someone's going to go down and stun the boss, but what you're going to want to do is stand on these ledges here. And then wait for the Kudra to stun sign, and then just keep spamming him. Now, I don't have the best gear, but my teammates are pretty good, so I didn't need it. But you kill him, and then you're done. And it's so much faster, so much better profit. Be careful of that thing, it'll one-tap you. But um, the run's already over, it doesn't really matter. And then, yeah. Now, the loot here is a lot better because the attributes are higher level. But that's pretty much it. Even though that is all the money. That's like what makes the most money. As you can see here, Fishing Experience 3, that's about 5-6 mil. Then, if I add in the Hollow Wand and the Essence, 
it ends up being like four mil profit so that's pretty good all right guys so quick guide on how to stun from someone who's never done it before this is a guide actually from the Kuju Yang Discord server, so if you want any more advice, I cannot preface enough that using a Discord server like this is perfect. What you want to do is buy a gemstone gauntlet or something that gives you 1,500 mining speed, buy the human cannonball perk, and once you get into that stage, you want to cannonball yourself into Kudra, teleport to the block that they've marked as safe, and then you just want to mine it until you get stunned. Okay, so there are two ways to get keys. Basically, um, no matter what you're doing, you want to be in the Kuja Gang Discord server because then you can get way more keys if you're doing it in a group. But what you want to do is fly around killing these flares with the hype. Now, if you don't have enough damage to one-tap them, what you want to do is another method, but pretty much if you're doing this and you have a group of four people, you want to use a mod called Volk Add-ons and you want to like set it up with the auto party command that every time you spawn a Vanquisher or they spawn a Vanquisher, you'll get partied, instantly join the party and get warped into the lobby. If you all get one hit, that's an extra one nether star per person in the party, basically. So if you add it up and you have four people, you're more than doubling like how many stars you're getting per hour. And from people I've spoken to, you can get up to 100 keys per hour. So or 100 nether stars, sorry, per hour. So that's pretty good. Um, one thing I forgot to note is you want the gauntlet of contagion. So you get three kills every flare, not just one. And if you don't have enough damage, you can just kill the flaming spiders over there. Now you want to make sure you have a Kudra pet and this unlocked to the highest level you want to do. And if you're really rich, a looting five hype and black cat pet. So you get two stars every time from someone else's boss, but that's not really necessary. Okay, so now one of the most important parts, how much profit did I make? So yeah, here I've got like profit from 51 runs. In this chest, 23 mil worth of books. Here, that's not accurate because it doesn't take into account all of the um, attributes on here it's probably worth closer to 25 to 30 mil, realistically. So that puts me at about 55 million coins. Um, yeah, because like there's some decent ones like Veteran Vitality, even though it's on bad armor. In this chest, we have 76 mil worth of stuff. This is because I got like a Kuja Corn stuff, um, which is pretty lucky. However, the Molten Cloak and Belts over here are all worth about five mil each. So realistically, that chest is about 100 mil. So that's like 150 mil. And then in here, that's 50 mil there. So it's about 200 mil in money. And then the keys cost me about 55 mil because I opened 33 chests, which means that overall I made about 155 mil in three hours. So it's about 50 mil per hour. Now my luck was, my luck was kind of even because I didn't get very good attributes, but I got, you know, the um, Wheel of Fate and the Kudra Core. So you're probably making between 40 to 60 mil per hour. Oh yeah, so I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to pretend I'm like the best Kuja player of all time. However, the best Kuja players are in the Kuja Gang Discord server. There are tons of cheese strategies and methods to get crates easier, methods to do more damage, whatever you want to do. So if you want a real guide and real tutorials, go there. That is the best place to do it. Um, here, I just want to list some tips and tricks to an overall kind of guide for you guys to figure it out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe so I can get YouTube rank and I'll see you in the next video.